Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Hobo, here today, and as you can see, we are going to be doing some NFL predictions this week. We're going to be breaking down week 15 in the NFL, and this is going to be an abbreviated video, guys, because it is Thursday, and I want to get this video out before the game tonight starts, and that being said, we're going to kick it off with the game tonight, 8.20 p.m. on Fox, NFL Network, and Amazon Prime Video, LA Chargers at Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to pick the Chargers in this game. I think they're... A better, more well-rounded team than the Chiefs, and I know Eric Berry's back tonight and all that good stuff, but I'm still going to take the Chargers in this game. Next up, Saturday, December 15th. Yes, a Saturday slate of games. 4.30 p.m. on NFL Network. I will be there to support the Houston Texans as they take on the New York Jets, so look for me on TV. I'll be in the east end zone, or the left-hand side end zone, not the east end zone, sorry. Uh, so you might see me on TV. I'll be next to a guy wearing a light-up Texans hat. We're both going to be wearing te uh, red Texans jerseys. So keep a lookout for us. We'll be on TV. And I'm going to take the Texans in this game. I think they're just a lot better than the Jets, and the Texans are uh, they are poised to get into that number two seed in the AFC. Barring a miracle. And that's going to have to happen later on this week, I think. So let's break this down even more. Saturday, December 15th, 8.20 p.m. on NFL Network. Browns at Broncos. I'm going to take the Browns in this game. I think they're just a lot better. I like Baker Mayfield over Case Keenum. I'm going to take the Browns. Next up on Sunday, the 16th, 1 p.m. on Fox. We're going to have the Packers taking the taking on the Bears in Chi Town. I'm going to take the Bears. I think they uh, their defense is just playing too good to be stopped by anyone. Jared Goff or Aaron Rodgers. I don't think it matters. I'm going to take the Bears next up on Fox. The Lions at the Bills. I'm going to take the, uh, you know, it's tough. I think I'm going to take the Detroit Lions in this game. I know the Bills have been playing better football, but uh, I think the Lions are just, uh, they're a more veteran team, and I think that Matt Stafford's going to lead them to a win. 1 p.m. on Fox again. We're going to have the Buccaneers visiting the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson's very good. I think the Buccaneers' defense is porous. To take the Ravens. Then on Fox, it'll be the Cardinals at the Falcons. This game, a little less close to decide, I would say. I'm going to take the Falcons in this game. I think their offense is just wicked good. Next up on CBS, it'll be the Raiders at the Bengals. I'm going to take the Raiders. I think they're getting better. I don't think their record necessarily reflects how good they are. And I know people like to bash John Gruden for the Khalil Mack and the Amari Cooper thing, but... He's got a plan. Let him execute it. Amari Cooper's a flash in the pan, I believe. And Cleo Max just, uh, he didn't want to play for the Raiders. Let's just put it that way. So I'm going to take the Raiders in this game over the Bengals. Next up on CBS will be the Tennessee Titans visiting the New York Giants. I'm going to take the Giants in this game. We're playing lights out football. Lights out football. And I don't think anybody can beat us at this moment in time. So I'm going to take us over the Titans. Next up on CBS, it'll be the Dolphins at the Vikings. I'm going to take the, the Dolphins in this game, actually. And I know a lot of people think that the Dolphins are bad, but last time I checked, they beat the Patriots. Sure, it was on a miracle play, but, you know, they outcoached and outplayed. So I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins in this game. Next up, the Washington Redskins. They will visit the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now I'm going to take the Jaguars in this game. I think the, the Redskins are just terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible without a quarterback to play. And I, I don't think Josh Johnson proved any any anything major last week because he played against a third-team defense. So I'm going to take the Jags in this game. Next up on Fox, the Cowboys will visit the Colts. And I'm going to take the Colts in this game. I think the Colts have the ability to win games against good defenses and I know they got shut out by the Jaguars, but they beat the Texans, something that I thought would never happen in a million years. But uh, I, I got to take the Cowboys in this game. Or, excuse me, I got to take the Colts in this game. I think the Cowboys are bad. Next up, 405 on Fox. It'll be the Seahawks at the 49ers. I'm taking the Seahawks by a million. 425 on CBS, the Patriots at the Steelers. If the Steelers win... And the Texans win. The Texans are the number two seed in the AFC, and that's what I'm rooting for. So I'm going to pick the Steelers in this game. 8.20 p.m. on NBC. It'll be the Eagles at the Rams. No Carson Wentz. Out with a back fracture. It'll be Nick Foles versus 
Jared Goff. A lot like what happened last year in this exact week in the NFL. But this time, it's different. The Eagles are actually bad. Not just visibly bad, they're actually bad. And I'm going to take the Rams in this game. Next up, Monday, December 17th, 8.15 p.m. on ESPN. It's going to be the Saints and the Panthers. And I'm going to pick the New Orleans Saints. Thank you all for watching, and that's going to do it for me. I hope to catch you guys on the flip side in week 16 with a longer, more in-depth video. But until then, that's going to do it for me, your boy Hobo, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.